Hey guys, so before the video begins, it would really mean a lot to me if you guys could hit the like button now. Uh, my analytics have gone through the floor, and YouTube likes to sort their videos based on how many likes they get, and they put those videos up first. So if I can get a little bit more likes on this video, that would mean a lot. I put a lot of hard work into this video, making this truck, getting it to where it is, so it would really mean a lot to me if you guys could show the support and drop a like before the video starts. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. All right guys, so today we're starting off the video in the garage. I actually was lucky enough to go my mom to let me push her car out of the garage for today just because I need to change the transmission fluid and do a bunch of little things to my truck for tonight. And it's 102 out right now and it's just baking on the side of the house that's direct sunlight, so it's killing me. So I'm gonna do everything in the garage today. So I'm very lucky to do that. Thank you to my mom for letting me use the garage. But uh, today we actually need to pull the truck in here because I put the wrong transmission fluid in the truck. Uh, you're actually not supposed to use any sort of synthetic gear oil or anything like that on a 3550. Now the three speed that was in it used gear oil all day long. I think the T5 uses gear oil and a couple other manual transmissions also use gear oil. Some of them even use tr automatic transmission fluid like a 3650, but this one uses a manual transmission fluid synchro mesh fluid kind of, it's really weird fluid. I've never even heard of it until now. It's a synchro mesh manual transmission fluid. So I have to put that in there. Um, I literally did it, went up the street and came back down. So I know everything's fine still. Everything still works. So we're gonna dump the synthetic gear oil out of it and we're gonna put the synchro mesh in it and then we should be okay from there. I just wanna get that out of my system. Uh, but I do wanna change that really quick before we cause any sort of issues. So I'm gonna pull the truck in the garage, get that fluid out of it and get the synchro mesh in it. So we're gonna move the truck. It's gonna be very loud. It still has open headers. That's the other thing I gotta do is I gotta either put a trans tunnel on it or I have to put the exhaust on it or both. I don't really know. But uh, we're gonna get started with today's video. So let's get the truck moving. Okay, well, it's in the garage now. It looks a lot better. Oh my God, it's just, just the fact that it's moving makes me feel so much better about everything. But uh, yeah, as you you guys can't tell, but as the second I go in here, it gets about 30 degrees hotter and you can see the collector right there is just dumping carbon monoxide directly into my face. So I'm a little bit dead and high right now. So we're gonna go ahead and I'll get the truck set up, take the fluid out of it, get the new fluid in it. All right, so. This is what we're going with instead of the gear oil. The gear oil was bad. Don't put gear oil in it. That was just, I guess, I'm just gonna expose myself. That was, I'm a human, everyone makes mistakes, so I took it out, don't worry about it. Now we're using a manual transmission fluid, but it's gotta say synchro mesh on it. Synchro mesh manual applications, which is what this transmission is. So hopefully this works. It says GM and Chrysler vehicles. That's really what I've seen is the key is when it says synchro mesh, manual transmission fluid, GM and Chrysler, that seems to be what's good for the 3550. I don't know why, that's just what I've seen on the internet. It's what Tremec told me, this is what I'm gonna use. So this should fix our issue, hopefully. I was talking about yesterday that I didn't want to go in a second. That's probably why. So this I think has a thicker viscosity to it. So hopefully when we put this in, everything will be fixed and uh, we should be good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in, start it up and probably actually, no, I'll just skip right to the chase and go ahead and put the trans tunnel in, put this in trans tunnel drive.
just kick ass. Okay, let's well, go. You're only half in your truck. So we're working on the trans tunnel. You can probably hear Sean in the background cutting that. He stripped all the carpet glue and junk off of it that, I don't know if you guys even saw that, I might have shown you. Uh, that That's getting cleaned up and painted right now. We're cutting the hole to fit the shifter, and then we'll drill holes to mount it. Right now, I am fixing, fixing my pinion angle and raising the transmission up, because you can actually see the collector's barely touching there, and it's barely touching on this side. So I need to raise it up about an inch. So I got the, I'm doing literally you can see it over there. I'm literally doing the exact same thing I did with a two inch. And uh, I put a little base on the ground. This says zero. I put it on the back of the trans. The trans is at four. It needs to be within three and zero. So I obviously need to pull it up anyways. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the exact same thing I did. I went ahead and already pulled these bolts out so I can go ahead and uh, just lift the trans up with a jack and then go ahead and put those little blocks in that I have. And uh, my drill died literally right before I pulled the second hole through, and I was, so now I gotta wait a little bit. But uh, that's kind of where we're going right now. I'm gonna make the, the working on part of this video really, really short because it just seems like all I've been doing. So I'm gonna come back when this is actually all done. I've already showed you guys how I do it, and uh, we'll come back when the trans tunnel's in and the, this is all raised up. Okay, so guess what? We did not get the exhaust on. Why? Because we suck, and I lost all the hardware. So we're gonna go get the hardware. But I'm gonna drive it with open headers. There's a trans tunnel, there's a bunch of stuff. I'm really hot and tired. I'll show you guys when we get there, but regardless, we're gonna get this thing going. We're just gonna do a little bit of driving clips. Oh my god, my turn signals work. Oh my god! They work! It's still loud as shit, but that is so much quieter. And the headlights work! Nice. The fuse was blown, that's cool. Look, we're having a conversation. I know, we're having a we're conversation. We're having a conversation. And it went into reverse. And the parking brake is still on. There we go. Oh, this clutch is so damn hard to push in. All right, so I can kind of hear a little bit now. So I'm gonna just go through the gears. I'll bring it up a little bit higher than three grand this time, just to kind of see what it sounds like. I hope you guys can see everything. I don't really know how that camera position is, but it works.
Alright guys, so that's the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I kind of just put the camera down and focused on my friends and everyone kind of checking out the truck for the rest of the night. Uh, I didn't pick it back up and I had a small couple issues which we'll talk about in tomorrow's video. Uh, which is where I get into kind of the little details about like what's 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 next what's going on now So there's a few things that have to be adjusted uh, the trends might have to come out again I don't know, but I will talk about that tomorrow. There's a couple issues I got to look into um, I got to get on the phone with a couple people and see what's going on with the clutch system uh, I keep losing clutch so I'll talk about that all tomorrow But regardless, thank you so much for watching like the video if you did enjoy like I said earlier uh, Let me know you do think down in the comments below you guys have supported been so amazing through this entire project I can't thank you guys enough for all your help and support and all your comments it means the world to me so thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video with this truck. And go work on your truck. Make your truck cool. There's no reason you can't. It's 110 out. I hate it. But yeah. So, bye.